Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Star Realms. And in the last video, I showed off how to unlock the Lost Fleet, but I didn't really show off what exactly this fleet can do. So in this video, I'm just going to give you kind of a rundown of how exactly this faction plays out. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to pick Mission 5, going up against the Junkers for this. So once you complete all the achievements instead of the Standard 6, you get him as well. And let's go ahead and just recap the rules for this one as well. Six card hand, at the end of your opponent's turn, you acquire worthless junk. And of course, the worthless junk is going to be a bit of an issue. But um, it's actually a really bad hand to start because I can't show off the shard abilities. And that's when you have this. You need three of these, and you can activate the ability that's shown here on the screen. So this one is draw a card, then discard a card. This one is scrap a card in your hand or discard pile. That's going to come in handy. And you also have this, the recon shards that give you five authority. So this, let's go ahead and we'll play all. Um, you have the splinter tech. Uh, the gambit for this one is whenever you use a shard ability, choose a faction. You count as having a card of that faction in play this turn. And the grand design gambit activates all abilities. Put a card from your discard pile into your hand. I'm going to grab the cargo craft and I'll grab the plasma bot just as a good little starter for this. And now you have a seven card hand as a standard. Of course, starting off, you only had four to work with. There's that worthless junk. Um, we'll go ahead. I'm going to kind of do it in order a little bit. Here's one of the cards we haven't seen yet. The Command Shard. You may treat this card as having any name when using a shard ability. So I'll go ahead. I'll play these ones out. I'll play the sal Salvage Shards. And now you can see that some of them are highlighted. The salvage Shard scraps a hand in the card or discard pile. But the Assault Shards give you four attack. Um, I'm going to grab the Pulverizer as part of this. And then I'll click on this one, and then you just click on it, and you can click the other salvage shard, and of course that command shard. It's essentially a wild card for this. You scrap those, scrap a card from your hand or discard pile, worthless junk, goes bye-bye, and then you pick one of the factions to have an, as an ally ability. Of course, I don't have any ally abilities in play, or any of those units in play, so it's kind of a worthless thing to do here. Now, for this one, um, Plasma Bot, I'm not going to do anything with him, because... The main point of him is to scrap all that worthless junk out. Now we'll go ahead, play all this stuff, but the only ones I've had, because I've got all of them here, I've got the salvage shard, I've got the command shard, transport, assault, but I also have two recon shards. They'll do that, discard these two, you still have them in play, so you still have all the abilities that are inherent with them. It's now an issue of which one do you want to... You essentially play them, then you discard them, and you get to pick the thing that you want to have out of it. All right, so the only thing that... And let's actually go ahead and I'll demonstrate the draw card and discard a card because that's actually the one that is coming up. This is actually really helpful for me for the purpose of this demonstration. So we'll do this. And actually, I did a very dumb thing here. I draw a card and I discard a card. So obviously, play order is super, super important in something like this. Um, I'll grab the Enforcer mech, um, Stinger, and a uh, Builder Bot. That's what I grabbed there. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm actually just going to keep playing through this mission so you can get a feel of what this one looks like. I would have loved to have picked up that jamming terminal, to be brutally honest. We've got that. we that there. And of course, I'll do the draw card and discard now. Hey, look, a worthless junk. It can go away. Unfortunately, these shards are all shit. Can't really do much with them. Um, I'll grab the ion station because the ion station's always fun. And drop him like a sack of potatoes. Grab that. And that's pretty much how this faction works, is that when you have enough of these abilities, you can start m making something happen with it. One downside, though, and you've probably noticed by now, is that as you build up the deck, it gets harder and harder to play them all because your deck's starting to get a little bit thicker. And of course, it's diluting out the shard cards that help you to process these things. So I actually do have the ability, I can do a recon uh, I can do the recon shards here because you can see I got the five, two five authorities, and then the wild card one here. But I'm going to discard. Hey, look, worthless junk. Get the hell out of my hand. Go ahead and do that there. These other ones don't really play a part, so let's go beep, boop, boop. Five extra authority, and I'm absolutely going to grab this one so I can fire off the allied ability. Pretty straightforward with this one. And somebody did leave a comment in one of the previous videos, so I'm going to hop out of this one. And 
Answer the question for old enemies. Actually, uh, pull up that comment here real quick. Yeah, this one, uh, Zombie asked in the video to, you know, explaining how to unlock the Star Realms. How would Mission 7 work with Jochum, though? Or Yoakum? So, let's go ahead and I'll do that here. So, Mission 7 selected. You hit Accept. You pick him. And then suddenly you're now up against... Dun -dun -dun, I have Admiral McCready. That actually hurt. Oh, and also, you can now see the Lost Dreadnought in play, because this mission you can actually have your special ship in uh, play right out of the gate. So the Lost Dreadnought, draw two cards, has all factions. The Lost Fleet survived centuries of isolation by salvaging tech from long-dead alien civilizations. So, going up against Hive Admiral McCready this time through. I'm going to leave, go back in, and then this time you should, keyword, get somebody in else. In this case, dealing with Overlord Newberg. So, short answer is, it's always different. Usually, I think there's probably some algorithm in the game that determines who you're going to be going up against every time you select this as the Lost Admiral Fleet. Now we're going to pick this Lord Walsh. I've opened it up three times. I've gotten three different answers as a result. There's no bloody way I'm sticking in this one because on turn one he picked up the Mech Worm. I'm just going to get the heck out of here and call that nice and good. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Pretty short and sweet. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.